We're doing an install video today. Like four, almost 14 pounds. Uh -oh. You're shaving, you know, 12, 12 pounds. pounds. I don't know what's going on. You transfer the stock hardware from the other fender to this one. Oh, that looks so sick. Alright guys, so we're back here at the Tour Custom Cycle shop. We are installing today the front and rear uh, Black Widow Creations carbon fenders on the bike. So, should be a simple, pretty install, right? Yeah. For such a man like you. I think it works today. There you go. It works today. Works great. What? What's the number? <laughs> I also have some great news while Mike takes this fender apart. So there is a discount code for you guys. I know I posted the last video, you guys asked for a discount code. We were able to do that for you. We get you a 10%, so just use MK87 at Black Widow Creation, um, and you'll get 10% off all your carbon parts. Boom. I don't know what's going on. Jerry, what do you think about my carbon parts? Pretty cool. Yeah. It'd be nicer if they had a blue tint to them, but they're yeah, not on the bike. Because he always says, it's I not hate, like blue. I hate what you're doing to your bike. And then two weeks pass, he goes, wow, I really love this. No, that's not true. I didn't like the, the outline, but then it looked better once it was filled in. I said, do you hate his carbon as much as his FXR? No. Okay. No. Hey. No, your FXR. Hey, oh, good. I didn't hate his FXR until I rode it. Then once I rode it, I was like, eh. Well, I took off, you don't have to take off the shocks to get this piece off or the fender. The reason why I took them off was you can see better on film what we're doing, number one. And number two, you had the brackets with the reservoirs and they, I didn't want them dangling in our way. And it's just easier to throw a flat jack under it, pop the shocks off. Take the front end first, and now the whole fender is going to come out. Rotate it back. Keep it below the shocks, because there's two yeah, big nuts. Back. Back. There you go. Got two big nuts on the outside. Ready? Let's see. First time impressions for you. No, it's nice. It's, <clears throat> it's got depth. Right? Yeah. That's fucking nice. Sick. Nice. Very light. That's crazy. Com com Sick. Compared to like yeah. Yeah. this right here, man. Like this, this is nothing. That's crazy. Yo, Brandon. That in the top crazy. drawer of the file cabinet, get the scale. Let's see how much the CVO rear fender weighs. Nah, that has to be more than that. 14 pounds. It, you know, it felt so heavy. I don't know if maybe it's like so big the way you gotta hold it. No. It's like four, almost 14 pounds. I don't think this is gonna even register. Two or three. Nah, I don't know, are you crazy? Ounces. 2.4. 2.4 pounds? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, that's you're shaving, you know, 12, 12 pounds. pounds. Performance. That, my friend, is what you call performance enhancers. Right? All right, so what we're gonna do is you transfer the stock hardware from the other fender to this one. You've got slots cut in that match up with a slot in the nut. So that, that's pretty cool, guys. The fact that you're just able to take off your stock hardware and put it just 
as easy as that, that's, that's a plus. So no buying extra hardware, no buying this or that. It's just a one, two, three thing. Okay, now when it comes to these, you do not have to tighten them. Two, three quarter inch wrenches. Do not tighten these because you will crack. Just a little, little bit of snug. You'll notice that when you take the stock ones off the stock fender, some of them, you, as you saw, some of them were, were loose to begin yeah. with. So you do not want to crack the car. I don't even need help with this one. So light. It's so light. Oof, that looks so sick. That looks so good. You want to hold your side up? Yeah. Can't find the hole. The Loctite on? Yes, I put Loctite on. Little Loctite goes a long way. Jerry. <laughs> Edit. to 20. Stock. Now because it's going into the center of that nut that's in there already. Look how, look how dirty. I think you're going to be okay, Jerry. I got it. You're going to be okay. Now, I know you took off the um, suspension just to be cleared out you don't really have to like you said uh how about this part though you gotta this is part do you have to take this part yes off no? yeah because it, it blocks the mounting bolts okay. for the fender so this part needs to come off yep okay that's why i took the suspension this will lift off over the suspension i just took it off so it's not in my way yeah you know okay it's just easier you know, for me shocks. keep telling people man chrome's coming back that's right you dig that was good man look, look, look at that chrome right next to that, that fender man that looks I like it. Maybe you should call me wheels. Spray chrome? Maybe. Producer Jerry just came up with a great idea. What was it, Jerry? To chrome the wheels. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe it's, a sprocket, too. Is chrome coming back, Jerry, or what? Chrome's always been coming back. I got a chrome bike. Old school Jerry. That's right, old school. lights from the CDO Real Fender. We got these Pro Beam tail lights here from Custom Dynamics. They're gonna look sick. I had the option to go with the chrome or the black. Um, so I went ahead with the black. I thought it would just be able to hide everything a bit more. It's black, this is dark right here, so. Should fit really nice. You know you should've done? Huh? You should've bought two pairs and then one black, one chrome. All right, so before we start this, we're gonna weigh this um, ST from Fender here from Fast Johnny, which they're doing a build in the shop. Being that this uh, front ST Fender is a replica of what this is right here, this is 4.8 pounds. Boom. 1.6? Ooh. That's crazy. That's light. 15 pounds. 15 pounds we shave between the two between the two fenders. Yeah. For your performance needs, if you're trying to shave off some weight and get some more speed, you need some carbon parts. <laughs> What's yours at? Mine is probably up there too. Mine's probably close to 300 right now. I was just gonna say. So. so the only thing you should know about the front fender is that you're just gonna need to get um, 
four nuts and four washers. That's it. You want to know the uh, they're five sixteenths, eighteen the nuts that you need. And those are obviously going on the inside. Show you, uh, show everybody about the, uh, the zip tie trick. That's what we call it. Yeah. That's what Jerry calls it. That's what Jerry calls it. What's this called? Or that's a seat screw. The seat screw. Well, the seat screw nut. Mike probably has a better name for it. He, Mike, what's the correct very technical. terminology for the seat screw? The, the thing that holds the seat down yeah. onto the fender is the seat screw. Seat screw. What about the part that goes The thing that's clipped into the fender is the seat nut. The seat, seat nut. nut. Seat screw. <laughs> Boom, put it here because obviously we can't put our hands under the fender, so. God damn it. Put a zip tie. Put a zip tie through it. Loop it up under. It'll come up. There we go. Spin it in the right direction. I got it. I can't really see. What do you think? I like it? Yeah, well it's different. It doesn't look like nobody else's car was driving. Mm -hmm. yeah. Night and day difference, bro. Yeah. And you know what the videos, well I shouldn't say the videos, but the pictures themselves when they are posted, that you were making a video, doesn't do it justice. Yeah, I've actually I know. It in person. <laughs> it's it's I mean, totally it's different in person, man. Oh yeah, it's some guy. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's perfectly warm. So as you can see, alignment right here with the bags looks amazing. Real clear, like Bush is just saying, like this, like you, you, you got to see this in person in order to see the details on on the fender because in the pictures you see in the videos as well, but in person is when everything really comes up. And damn, you saw the front one. I, I didn't get a chance. SD stuff. Oh yeah, <laughs> bro. Doesn't look like anybody else. Oh, no, 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 nobody has it, man. You won't mistake it in a crowd. Black camo. Guys, if you are looking for this type of print, if you want to do the same, uh, same print, uh, Black Water Creation does it in black camo. They do red camo, green, um, gold, brownish, I think. Bunch of colors on there. Um, if you don't want the camo, if you just want a regular camo, uh, a regular carbon print, they do that as well. Um, different styles of the fender as well. Different style fenders for the front. Um, and just a ton of other different carbon parts. They do bags, they do lids, they do side covers, tank dashes. Um, I think they're making fairings as well for Rogue Glass right now. So go on the website, check that out. I'm gonna be linking all the description down below. Black Widow Creations, and if you do wanna get some parts, you get 10% off right now with my discount code MK87. And if you also are in the local area, you wanna get some work done on your bike, any improvements, you guys want to buy some parts as well, stop by the Tour Custom Cycle Shop, hit up Mike, tell him I sent you. Um, winter is coming, it's right around the corner, so that's when everybody's doing their big, huge jobs, motor jobs, cams, stage three, stage fours, everything. Um, but we, we, we got a lot of other stuff coming for this bike, so it's gonna be pace. Edit. Did I say Probeam? Edit. <laughs>